morning grade one students and how are you doing yesterday was wednesday and that means today is thursday tomorrow will be friday great job so today is thursday the 14th of january in the year 2021 and we are going to have language arts the word of the week is r a r e r I hope that you've been practicing to use the word R for this week and spelling it as well. The cats are eating their food. So this is an example of how we use the word R. You use R when your noun in your sentence is plural. When you're talking about more than one thing, you would use R. So the cats are eating their food. Now let's look at another example. Here, is it one child or is it more than one? It's more than one, right? So the children, the children are playing in the schoolyard. Do you see the children playing in the schoolyard? Do you recognize anybody there? Wow, you recognize a lot of people in this picture. So yes, the children are playing in the schoolyard. Next one. What are these? Okay, yes. So the orange flowers are beautiful it's more than one of them is many there are many of them here so the orange flowers more than one are beautiful now i like for you to write a sentence so you're going to head up for me and then you're going to write some sentences based on these pictures so look at the picture and what do you see there okay where are they all right do you think that they will be sweet or sour Okay, so you can write a sentence about this picture for me inside of your books, all right? Next picture. What are these? What are these animals called? And where are they? What do you think they're doing? All right, so I'd like for you to write a sentence as well on this picture inside of your books, okay? Now let's move on to phonics. So for phonics, we're going to be looking at our letter songs again. So now the first letter is great. And the song is the song is right. So this is remember, this is capital. I put the capital letters in blue for you to see and the common letters are in white. Now look at these words. All of these words have the sound in their beginning. So give it a go. Pause the video here and give these words a try. What is this letter? Okay, and what song does it make? Its name is? Its sound is? Nice. Now look at these words. These words are start with the letter K and have the K sound. This letter is E. This is letter E. And what sound does letter E make? It makes the sound it makes a sound eh. So its name is E and its song is eh. eh. Now these words have the eh song in the beginning of their name. Okay, so pause the video and give these words a try. And now we're on to this letter. This letter is H and its song is <gasps> like you're out of breath. <gasps> its song is here are some H words for you. Some words that have the sound. This letter is R. And its sound is R. Its sound is R. Here are some words that have the R sound at the beginning. This letter is M. And its sound is Nice. The sound is Mm. Its name is M and its song is mm. And here are some words that have mm, the letter M, the mm song at the beginning of their name. And this final letter is it's D. It's letter D. So remember the capital letter D looks like this. And the common letter D or the lowercase letter D, it curves to the left. Okay? Its song is yeah sound is duh. now look at these words that have the d sound in front of them do you see the letter d so here they have the capital letter d and here we have the common one 
Now let's go in. Let's look at some words. You're going to help me blend the words, okay? So each letter is in a different color to help you identify the individual songs. And then we're going to blend them all together to call the word, all right? So first sound, r, second sound, ah. So we have r, ah together. It's going to be r. These two songs together is r. Final sound, t. Final sound, t. Put the three sounds together. We have r, ah, t. What's that word? That word is rat. So r, at, rat. R a t. Rat. Next word. First sound. First sound. Second sound. Ah. Second sound. Ah. Together we have ha. Ha. Final sound. D. D. Final sound. D. Put the three sounds together. We have ha. D. What's the word? Ha. D. Had. The word is had. I had an umbrella. Had. H A D had. Next word. First sound s. First sound s. Second sound ah. Second sound ah. Together they say sa. Sa. Third sound n. Third sound n. So san. San. Final sound k. Final sound k. Put all the songs together. We have sank. What's the word? Sank. Next word. First sound. R. First sound. R. Second sound. E. Second sound. E. So we have re. Final sound. M. Final sound. M. So we have r. Im. Rim. The word is rim. First sound. K. First sound. K. Second sound. E. Second song, eh. So we have k, k. Third song, p. Third song, p. So we have kep, kep. T. Final song, t. So the word is kept. The word is kept. Past tense of keep. First song, d. This is letter d, so it says d. Second song, e. Second song, e. D. Final song, d, d. All together we have d, it, d. What's the word? Did. First sound, m. Mm. First sound, m. Mm. Second sound, e. Eh. Second sound, e. Eh. Third sound, n. Mm. Third song, n. Mm. Together we have m, mm. e, eh. n. Mm. Men. Final sound, d. Final sound, D. All together we're going to have m, end. What's the word? Mend. M E N D. Mend. First sound, t. First sound, t. Second sound, r. Together we have tr, tr. Third sound, a. So it's tr. Final sound, p. So we have tr, a, p. The word is trap. And our last word, first sound, s, second sound, n, together, s, n, s, n, third sound, a, so it's n, a. Final sound, you're going to pronounce the C and the K together, because they, and they both have the same sound, so what sound do we have here? C and K together, we say, k, so the word is snack. What's the word? Snack. And now you have to read these sentences for me. So pause the video at each side, and you're going to read, it, give the sentences a try, okay? Pause again. Pause. Pause. And that'll be the end of the reading sentences. Now let's move on to grammar. For grammar, we'll be looking at nouns. Do you know what a noun is? Let's explore the world of nouns now. A noun is a word that names a person, a place, thing or animal. So a noun names something. It names a person, it can name a place, it can name a thing, or it can name an animal. Now let's look at some examples. So it can name a person. What do you call this person here? She is a doctor. So doctor is a noun. 
What about this man? What do you think he does? He is a chef. So chef is a noun. What about this guy? What does it look like he does? Right, and he is a farmer. So farmer is a noun. Remember that a noun names something. Now let's look at some animals. What is this? This is a very sleepy kitten. So kitten is the noun here. What about these animals? They are dolphins. So the word dolphins is a noun. More than one of them. So that's why Miss added the S on. Dolphins. Now what about this? It is a hummingbird. So the word hummingbird is a noun. So all of these words, these names for these animals are nouns. Now let's look at place. Nouns can name a place. What is this place? It is Bay. Most of you might have said Bayside, so this is the Bay in fancy. So Bay is a noun, that's the name of a place. This is a kitchen. So kitchen is the noun. And this place is a church. So the word church is a noun. Nouns can name place. Now let's look at some things. What is this? A ball. So ball is a noun. These are crayons. More than one of them. So we add the S. Crayons is a noun. This is you would say some dresses or something like that and i'll put clothes so clothes the clothing that we wear when you name each of them individually all of that is a noun okay so nouns can name things now let's try identifying some nouns together where am i i am on a farm so the word farm is a noun who is this this could be somebody's granny or their grandma you might hear granny or grandma and those words are nouns who am i she is a pilot so the word pilot is a noun who am i who is this guy what do you think he does he is a musician so the word musician is a noun where am i i am in the supermarket the supermarket so the word supermarket is a noun what am i what is this animal it is a tiger so tiger is a noun and what am i uh, it's the sky and this the word sun is also a noun as well as the word cloud so this whole thing is the sky and that is a noun the word sky is a noun so let's look at this lady and we're going to identify the nouns in these sentences. So it says, my name is Pam. What is a noun in that sentence? The naming word. The naming word here is Pam. Her name is Pam. So the word Pam is a noun. So your name is a noun. I am a teacher. What does she do? She is a teacher. So the word teacher is a noun. And it says, I live in Oya. The name of a place. Where does she live? Oya. So the word Oya is a noun. Okay. Great job for helping me out identifying those nouns. Remember that a noun names something. Now, this is time for you to practice. So you're going to make this table inside of your books. You're going to head up. You're going to make this table. And you're going to fill in the nouns on the person, place, thing, or animal. And if there are any missing spaces, you're going to put in your own examples of nouns that will fit into these areas. Okay? And when you're done, I would like for you to write sentences using the nouns identified here. You're going to write some sentence. You're going to complete the sentences for me. Okay, and that would be all for today. So goodbye and see you tomorrow.